Okay, when I go deep, tight waist, I don't mean just put my arm across his belly. I mean, I'm squeezing his tight waist. And then I'm going to jump sides. So I'm going to come here, and I'm going to come here, okay? He's already torqued over by the time I get up. He's already twisted a little bit, okay? So if I get this, hands on the elbow, go deep, and then jump sides and take this knee and put it right here where his short's in. Okay, see where Coach T's short's in? Right there is where I want to go with it. My knee, okay? So I'm going here, here, here. All right, now from here, my point of direction or my direction is going to be towards his head. I'm going to try to force my knee through his thigh. Okay, I don't want to pull him this way. I want to drive him that way. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that tight waist and just lift up on my, try to get my elbow a little bit higher at the same time I chop this arm. Okay, so everything's going towards his head, not pulling him onto him. Okay, and we're going to work on this plenty of times today because I'm sure it, it looks like I'm going, pulling him right on top of me. When in actuality, I'm driving him over that. I need to go on the other side. No. Actually, I need to go that way more. Okay? And don't go fast. Another weird thing about this too is don't go fast so that you create momentum for him. Okay? So, so hands on the elbow goes deep here. All right? And then I'm jumping sides, really torquing his belly. Knee goes where his shorts end, right here. Okay? Hips are tight. I'm kind of pinching his hips with my knee. Okay? From here, I'm going to chop this arm, hold everything tight. Keep my elbows in. Okay, so I'm going to chop here and just hold everything tight. Remember, my pressure is where, towards his head, where his hand used to be. Okay? So if he's a table, um, and now I take one of the legs away, that's exactly where I want to take it. Okay, so I've so got a tight waist, hips are tight, my knee's right here on his thigh. It's important not to let your knee slip to the ground. And you'll find out in a little bit why. But my knee's right here on, his, on the end of his shorts. And I'm going to chop this arm, hold everything tight, and pinch with my hips and just keep him tight in my lap. Okay? And as we go over, as I drive with my back foot, towards where his hand used to be, this knee that's right here on his leg is going to be pointed towards the ceiling. Okay, so when I finish, I want this knee pointed up. So I come here, get here, I'm going to chop here, hold everything tight, and then just drive with my back foot towards his, where his hand used to be. Finish with this hand to the ceiling. Okay. All right, see, everybody see where I am here? I've got him in my basket, what I call it, right here. I'm just holding him tight, okay? All I want to get is that referee swiping his hand, okay? <clears throat> not going to pin anybody with this, not anybody working on it anyway with this. Um, but I want that referee swiping his hand. So he swipes two times. That's two points for me. You come back up. I got an opportunity to do it again. Okay? So, hands on the elbow goes deep. Get my hips tight. This knee's gonna come right here where his shorts in. Squeeze his belly a little bit. Get a tight waist. Okay, you see how Coach T's already turned a little bit? Now I'm just gonna chop this arm and hold everything tight. Point this knee to the ceiling. Okay, if he bellies down, okay, I'm not getting near fall. I'm going to take this other foot and elevate towards his head. Okay, just elevate towards his head. All right, if he rolls all the way through, go with it. Okay, <clears throat> don't panic if he starts trying to hip over. Just go with it. <clears throat> That's why. I try not to create a bunch of momentum. And if you pull him onto you, you'll give him that momentum. I'm driving forward. 
going not so fast that I'd give him something to, to roll with. Because yeah, when a lot of guys realize they're going, they'll go all the way. So, got to take it a little bit slower than we normally would uh, we try to. And <clears throat> drive this knee through his thigh and point it towards the ceiling. Okay? So, I'll show it to you from a different angle. All right, hands on the elbow, goes deep. Get my hips tight. My knee comes right here to where it shorts me. Okay, squeezing his hips with my knees. I'm going to chop here and then drive right where his hand used to be, finishing with his knee pointed up. Okay, still pinching here. I want him right here in my, my basket, keeping my hips tight to his. Okay, if he turns down, I lift that foot just enough to get the periphery swipe in his hand. stays on his thigh, not down to the mat. Chop here, and then just take him, drive this knee that's on his thigh towards where his hand used to be. Once this knee gets pointed up, then I'm going to probably start getting my swipes. Okay? Let's try. Uh, all right. Places you're going to mess up. I know you're going to mess this mess up sometimes. It's new. It's a different feel. One of the places you'll mess up is you'll put your knee here. And then as you take him over, you won't be able to get that knee pointed towards the ceiling. Okay, so he'll, he won't be, you know, he won't be getting points. And he won't be in any danger really. Okay, <clears throat> so get your knee right here on this thigh. It makes it easier getting that knee point towards the ceiling. Another, uh, another place that will give you a little trouble is if you don't drive it in this direction. Okay, it looks, it looks when you do it fast like I'm just pulling him into my hips, but I'm not. Okay, so it looks like I'm just pulling him, pulling him towards me. And then his hips come all the way over, and I'm struggling. Okay, so take him that direction, one o'clock. <clears throat> um, let's, let's go ahead and give this a try. I'm going to show it one or two more times and show what it looks like when it's fast. But we'll give it a try, then we'll come back in, we'll tweak it a little bit, and then I'll show you how to do it from different places, okay? But the first one we're going to do is just from reference position. This hand goes deep, get a good tight waist, which means I'm, I'm, I'm squeezing. Okay, I'm trying to get some torque out of this tight waist. Jump here, to right here. Okay, don't worry about how pretty it is or what, what it looks like. If that referee is doing this, you've done something right. Okay. Okay, any questions so far? So wait, you can, like, what's the most points you can get from that? Three. And then you can just keep uh, rolling back and then going back into it? Yeah, because, okay, you can only score a certain number of points from the same hold. But if the same hold is just a tight waist, then the referee is going to start a new count every time and give you points. Okay. So we're ready to try that. We'll see it one more time. 